it would take longer time than I have at my disposal to tell you all that we hope the Trust will achieve. But broadly speaking, it will provide more and better facilities for the recreation and guidance of the younger generation, encourage the cultivation of abilities, craftsmanship, and all those outdoor interests and activities that make for mental and physical fitness. From my own experience, I know the need for all this, and I have seen with my own eyes the vast difference of outlook, both in body and mind, between the children who have enjoyed these advantages and those who have not. There are many admirable voluntary organizations in existence whose aim it is to promote the welfare of the girls and boys of this country. And the Trust will assist, strengthen and extend their work. It will enable similar movements to be started in places at present untouched. To pay special attention to areas rural as well as industrial, where this kind of work is held up through lack of local resources and is crying for help from some central source. There is no need for any new organization. There are quite enough of them as it is. And I hope that the Trust may encourage coordin coordination of effort and prove an important factor in preventing waste of money and overlapping. In addition to assisting organizations such as boys and girls clubs, brigades, scouts and guides, we have in mind an outdoor program to help in providing campsites, playing fields and for hiking, etc. for all young people. Also an outdoor program to help towards club premises, workshops, and gymnasiums in areas where such facilities do not exist today. These, in brief, are our present aims.